Are you sure if I will can understand what you say anything to me? Anton, can you speak English? No, I cannot. Do you want to speak English? Yes, I do. What is your reason? I want to can speak English because I want to go to Australia. I want to can speak English. I want to can speak English. Annie, may I to go to your home at around seven tonight? May I to go to your home at around seven tonight? Hello everyone. Welcome back to the English Learning Channel. And thank you very much for always learning English here. I hope all of you are fine and get good achievement of the English skill. In the episode, I would like to explain how to use modal verbs correctly in order that you don't make mistakes anymore in speaking and writing English. Now let's see the explanation on the next screen. Well, viewers, I would like to explain how to use modal verbs correctly. Modal verbs are often called spatial verbs because they have different functions from other verbs. There are three most important things you should know related to the modal verbs. One, in simple present, modal verbs consist of can, may, must, shall, and will. Two, in past tense form, can becomes could, may, might, must, also must, shall, should, and will, would. Three synonyms of the modal verbs can, to be able to, may, to be allowed to, or to be permitted to, must, to have to, shall and will have the same synonyms to be going to. Why I explain the three important things related to the model of herbs because I would like to show you why some students have mistakes in their speaking. Sentence patterns of a model verb positive sentence subject plus modal followed by verb one or infinitive or be be here is used when the sentence does not have a verb after models negative form subjects plus model plus not plus verb one or infinitive or b negative subjects plus model plus not plus verb one or b interrogative model plus subject plus verb one or b in question, using question word, the patterns, question word, and then followed by interrogative. Example.
now listen how students use modal verbs incorrectly and then what should it be Anton can you speak English no I cannot do you want to speak English yes I do what is your reason I want to can speak English because I want to go to Australia after listening to the conversation how students use modal verbs incorrectly and then what should it be I want to can speak English because I want to go to Australia this is absolutely incorrect sentence using modal verb so the right one should be I want to be able to speak English because I want to get to Australia. Number two, now listen what happens with the sentence spoken by the students in correct sentence. Sinta, may I practice English with you here? Why not? Feel free to practice English conversation with me here. Are you sure if I will can understand what you say anything to me? Of course you can. Thank you. Are you sure if I will can understand what you say anything to me? It is absolutely incorrect sentence because there are two modal verbs so the second modal verb should in synonyms. So the right one, are you sure if I will be able to understand what you're saying anything to me? Now listen to the next number three. Annie, may I hear to join you cooking? Yes, please. Thank you. May I hear? It is absolutely wrong in English because when you use modal verbs followed by adjective, adverb of place, adverb of time, you should use be. So it should be may I be here? Listen to the next incorrect sentence using modal verb spoken by a student. Annie, may I to go to your home at around 7 tonight? I'm sorry, Sela. I will not at home at the time because I must visit my friend's party. No problem. Thank you. May I to go to your home? At around 7 tonight it is also incorrect sentence because after model when you use model should not use to so the right one is may I go to your home at around 7 tonight well I would like to explain the next problem Modal verbs can also add another meaning to the other verbs. Can means possibility, ability, or permission. Could means could means possibility, ability in the past may probability permission probably probability or permission might probability must necessity logical conclusion so future with emphasis should advice obligation prediction will future 
word condition after you understand what model verbs are and how to use them in sentences i would like to give you some examples number one after you show me the way i can go myself this is general after you show me the way of course i can go by myself number two they might visit us they might visit us here means that you may be visit us number three the flight should be on time the flight should be on time means that the flight may be on time or maybe not number four we could do the examination well why you just could there are two meanings there are two meanings you get from this sentence you could do the examination you did it well in the past it can also mean that you exactly can do the examination well number five i will, I will go to your home if i have time this this sentence indicates something will happen in the future like if i have time now i go to the exercise
of years. I think that is hard for the explanation of how to use mother verbs correctly in English. I hope you understand it well. Thank you very much. See you on the next episode. Bye-bye.